there was a golden era of history. The age of the machine. They now rest from their labours. But if you listen carefully, you still hear the echoes from another time. When a generation used creativity, ingenuity and resourcefulness that changed our world. So here in country Victoria, in the Wimmera, we've just had the, the Wheatlands Warwicknabeel Vintage Machinery Rally. It was a fantastic weekend of the community coming together to, to showcase some of the machinery and equipment that was used in times past. Uh, it was also nice, they had the, the double header tractor on display that Dad and his brothers put together. You can see that story in the, uh, in the link below. I just enjoyed getting around and seeing uh, just some of the creativity and some really inventive things. Nineteen fourteen era. That's correct. I mean, the engine has a pump on the back. Yep. Okay. Fair enough. A diesel engine or diesel. Diesel. Well, I'd use it for a washing machine as well. You can use this to drive your washing machine as oh, well. Oh, fantastic. Still restoring it. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. So I saw this unique contraption and at first wondered what on earth it was doing. But I met Gordon here and he clued me in with what was going on. So you start with some pimbo like your sugar gun. Prepare your wood. Insert it in the machine. And now you start your carving. You might have a slight hiccup. Make a few more adjustments. And now it's running beautifully. So what Gordon is doing is creating an axe handle. A thing of absolute beauty. Using this engine and belt drive to run it. These flat belts were a common source of power back in the 19th and 20th centuries. They were used in all manner of areas, like logging, mining, farming, running sawmills and pumps. Stuff. Just like this water pump I saw on display. Now, of course, replaced by electric motors, gears, chain drives, V belts. So that's how you go from lengths of sugar gum like this to some beautifully crafted axe handles. So another truly impressive machine on display was this drilling rig. And I met Graham Werner who was instrumental in restoring this machine. My name is Graham Werner. I was demonstrating a 1952 Southern Cross percussion drilling rig used for drilling for water. With the percussion, it's a drop of a, a weighted chisel, a hollow chisel for starting off and pulling out the core. And once you get down 10, 15, 20 feet, and that you'll change to a chisel and make it into a slurry and then pump it out with a slush pump and then keep on going all the way down. The best water is the second level, so you've got to cut the first water level off and then go past that. EDE Southern Cross motor, which was a 24 horsepower, they were purchased by the landowners and they put down their own boards around the area and then lent it out to the neighbours and so on. But there is contractors around that got mounted on trucks and went from farm to farm as a business. They originally only had a BDC 12 horsepower on them, a single cylinder, 
water cooled. We built another one up at Hermansburg and that which was used up there, exactly the same model, a little bit earlier, and that uh, drilling for water for the uh, missions. I wanted to do one for myself and that's the outcome of this one. So that's the second one that I've rebuilt. A truly impressive machine. Well done to Graham and the various volunteers that helped with the restoration. And in fact, as I started editing this video and, and interviewed Graham, you know, I realised there was a lot more that could be said about it. So I'm currently working on an extended version of the story. So please keep your eye out for the link to that if you're interested. So here are some of the other great machines I saw on display at the rally. If you know any more details on any of the machines featured here, please just let us know in the comments. Oh, that's all right. Thanks, Matt. What do you got here? Uh, this is currently built for the Allied Works Council, World yep. War II. It's running off a... That's a diesel. It's the same fuel delivery system as a Imperial diesel. I've heard of two other blokes having them, but I've never seen another one. Yeah, yeah. And this is one of the museums. So. so they've used this with all sorts of gear. I believe it was uh, for a power plant. Generate, just to run generators for yeah, electricity, radio, power, stuff like that. Oh, OK, yeah. So a great weekend with so many historic machines on display. Well worth a visit to the museum in Warwick Nabeel if you get a chance to check it all out. Well done to the, the whole museum crew that uh, organised the weekend too. So thanks for checking out the channel. We've got a few other stories in the works, uh, some interviews with Dad and uh, just uh, some old classic 16mm footage from back in the day. So I hope to share some of that with you. So. We'd value your support by having you press subscribe and uh, we'll see you back next time.